Hi everybody, so this is uh, gonna be a haul of the items I purchased in my local thrift store. The first item we have here is this uh, brown Lucky Brand leather um, bag. Very soft leather, looks pretty much new but it had a little mark on it. This one, this brand I never pick up, but it reminded me of Balenciaga, so I ended up picking it up. Is this um, Pietro Alexander, I think. <laughs> it looks very cool, and you can fold it over, and you can wear it as crossbody bag. I believe I got it for half price. All those purses I got only because they were very affordable. My thrifters thrift store always priced them very high this one was a fossil i will always pick up good fossil and this one was for sure it this one is a uh, free people hard to find size large actually which you like never see and it already sold even though it was the vintage tag but i thought the style had enough for it going and i believe i paid like two dollars Next brand is Yumi Kim, which can be very popular in like dresses, even though it seemed to sit for me. But I thought this piece was very unique and I paid about a dollar for it. This is just a Zara, but I love the novelty print and it's actually a true wrap top. And it had the, you know, modern look to it and kind of preppy boho mixed together and yeah banana peel i picked up this this brand ellen ellen it uh, has very cute cover-ups and i just love the super bell sleeve on this one it makes me think of like a bell flower almost uh, this is also free people a little plaid crop shirt and i wouldn't probably pick it up but i paid very little for it so i end up listing it lucky brand extra large and yet again extra large lucky brand if it's more unique piece is definitely a good pickup for me and this one sold very very quickly and within a day or two this is talbots and here i picked it up because it's very cute a print with like bird cages on it novelty print can be something that would sell pretty quickly next piece this was just for me we are all star wars fans so i just thought it was so cute and it was brand new so just a pajama top um next item is this free people oversized uh, top I think it's called sherry or cherry <laughs> and this tag sells pretty good I sold it very quickly but it wasn't like a huge amount of money I believe I sold for like 17 this one new attack Harley Davidson and I wasn't sure about it because it's not their typical style with the sequence and everything but it did have embroidered logo on the back and it was new attack and plus size so i picked it up and it sold very quickly also next item is this jacket i do not really know this brand i don't know if it's like francesca's delia or delia's i kept this jacket for myself it was wool this was pretty good pickup yancy fugel it's um designer So this is items that I already had prepared for my local consignment and this is going to look like a bad lip reading because I recorded with voice but it was a lot of background noise so I end up doing this voiceover instead. So I'm trying to read my own lips blah blah blah. <laughs> so this first item I got based on the style i think it was like new york and company which i don't pick up but i thought it was so cute 
and that went to my local consignment. That was one of the um, Goodwill pickups for $3. And so was this blazer, also based on the style. Next was this, I believe it's Calvin Klein, like a Kelly Green, Emerald Green lace dress which is also in my local consignment this one i got because of it was uh, i think 3x plus size it was pretty crystal embellished top and plus size uh, i am a little more relaxed usually this dress was so pretty so soft banana republic and uh, i also took it to my local consignment this uh, Calvin Klein dress, I believe I have listed right now on my Poshmark closet. It was also one of the Goodwill pickups on their sale. This is a long gown and I actually found out this brand, Mary Lee, which makes like bridal dresses and bridesmaid dresses. It sells really good and it has really, it's uh, a little bit pricey depends on the style so now this one I have listed on my uh, Poshmark but it's a smaller size even though it's new with tag so it's pretty good pickup this DB studio is David bridal collection um, dress it's like evening gown pleated and it looks kind of like Marilyn Monroe style I have it listed on my uh, store this one Ralph Lauren pretty midi soft dress I took to consignment this one's Calvin Klein and I believe it is also plus size or 1x so I end up listing it it was very pretty jacket mm -hmm. this one JS collection uh, which is definitely a good bolo for like um mother of the bride dresses and i think that my local consignment took it this one is zach posen posen i think it's pronounced and this was evening gown and it was size 16 or 18 so i sent it to real real this one is adriana papel all lace like this periwinkle color gown perfect for uh, mother of the bride very pretty and stretchy lululemon sweatpants which i was surprised that comps for those are really high a bunch of them listed for about 50 to 100 dollars and next item is j jill poncho it's like a wool blend merino wool blend and it's currently listed on my uh, Poshmark closet is one size fits all this one I end up keeping for myself and it's all so comfortable <laughs> it's so soft and warm so it's perfect for like Florida winter that's all we need here in the coldest day this item I was very excited for be on the lookout this brand worth is taken by real real and this is 100% cash cashmere like a long line sweater so like midi maxi depending on your height and uh i actually end up i end up selling it myself this one billabong again i got it for a really good price and i totally see this dress selling in spring and summer it's so flattering and beautiful wish it fit me but it's size small and it's a little tight on the chest um next one is this uh, 1x dress from urban urban affairs i don't i don't really know the brand but it was tie-dye it's a true wrap and it's a maxi dress and yes and plus sizes and uh, a rayon fabric very comfortable so i end up listing it on my own This item 
it's a definitely a bolo brand rami brook it's a designer it is uh, accepted by rio rio and i currently sent it to them it's not fully listed it is accepted but they still have to add the price uh, atleta just a mini dress or like beach those definitely will sell probably closer to the summer but i was still happy to pick it up preparing for next season this dress sold very very quickly i think same or next day eileen fisher just a basic maroon but it was new without tags and i sold it quickly this j crew i think it's called regent wool blazer it looks like a college style that that style is actually uh does pretty well um atleta newer tag another short dress next item oh this one actually sold like <laughs> That was the first item that sold and just columbia pants but they were new with tag and i guess the right person was just looking for it that day and this is a little michael kors dress i send it to real real it won't get probably much there but i got all those items for a very very low price so it was definitely worth it still torrid I do pick up tour dresses there this one's plus size very nice floral and polka dot print this was new with tag uh, it was fox racing apparel leggings I took it to my local consignment the hunter hunter green this next um, is a, a romper, extremely soft jersey knit with those pockets. And Lascana is the brand, which is like a boutique brand. And it has pretty good comps. Has following. This brand, Garnet Hill, I sold it many times. I never really have this specific dress. And this was new with tag made with green cotton or organic cotton and it also sold like immediately just the shorts that i picked up for myself from Thalia Sodi i don't really sell this brand even though it sells pretty good at my local consignment so i'm guessing it has some following and next item is this Prada vintage uh, just a long sleeve basic uh, top. I sent it to Real Real, and also this L Agents. <laughs> I'm sorry, I do not know how to pronounce it. That's just a basic top, and I sent it to Real Real together with this Longchamp, a uh, little orange tote bag. And I've sold many of Longchamp um, on uh, the real reel. So depending on styles, they have definitely following. Um, there was my kid there for a second in the window. <laughs> Photobombing me. The next item is this, I believe, this pretty little thing which is UK brand and it's like sequin shorter dress new with tag I think it was size two or four so I love selling dresses they might not sell right away but usually you can get a little bit more this one was a Madewell like a tote I think it's traveler or travel style zip up which has a limited edition strap so it's currently listed i just listed it i believe yesterday this one carol hochman 
uh, or Hoffman. Uh, this brand is definitely good pickup for uh, sleepwear, pajamas, robes. Uh, they have very good quality pajamas. More like a high end. Oh, this is a project <laughs> which actually already I already cleaned it. This is BG BCBG Max Azria dress, which I not always pick up, but some of the dresses I did pick up sold for a hundred, and so they just kind of sit long time. But this one is hundred percent silk lace, kind of looks like a wedding beach wedding dress or so. And it had a few spots, but they cleaned out really quickly and really easily. So I'm going to be listing it soon. Next item, this Beyond Yoga, which I pick up for a very, very low price. I think I paid like 2 or $3 and I have it listed on my Poshmark clothes. The Kongs are about $30, $35. This one was Michael Kors, and I should have kept it for myself, but I took it to my local thrift store, and they, I mean, to my local consignment, and they priced it kind of low, even though it was new a tag. Next um, is that super soft fabric from Torrid, and all those tops sell pretty quickly and good, even the basics for me. Maybe not for high dollar, but still... This is True Religion, kind of smaller size, I think it was 25, so, but I will probably sit on it for a while, but it still sells for me. Those Levi's Vintage, like a black denim, and we'll see how they sell, I did have them listed. And let's see what's next. Next item. Oh, I think it's not your daughter jeans. They were called Merlin Straight Leg, I believe. And they also sold straight leg jeans. And those were like not stretchy, like a true jeans, true, gen tr true denim. Usually sell pretty good now. Next item are those um, jeans. They were from, they're men's. I think they're AG, Adrian Goldstein or something like that, but they're men's. So I did not list them yet. Those are new with tag. I just took them to my local consignment plus size jeans next I believe those are torrid denim again plus size stretchy they might sell a little later because they're cropped so let me sit till spring but that's everything I got in this trip I hope you guys enjoyed it. You can see my beautiful gestures right there <laughs> as I'm trying to guess what I'm saying. Please give us thumbs up, subscribe, and share my channel. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you.